Sadhana Savat Manandaji is recounting his first PC with Baba and Baba reminds him of a drowning incident that he was involved in. Lee, I saw that he was <coughs> straight looking at me. That time I saw his look, I remember till now, it is a completely different look. Very deep, but very pleasing. So he asked, he asked me, when you were three and a half years old, what happened to you, my boy? You can understand that I, I, one will ask me this question. Because I was already grown up person, as I told earlier. How can I remember the incidents that happened with me, three and a half years old? Three times he told me. And he was helping, waiting and helping. Smiling face. Yeah, yeah, you cannot remember, I understand. But you heard from somebody, you know that. You tell that what you have heard from others, actually from my mother. Three times he asked me, so I could not, even after the best my, my effort, I could not even manage it. Then, strangely enough, he started describing, he himself started describing that incident. My boy, you were very naughty type, very restless person. And uh, the, the, that was a river, very, with very much <coughs> current. And uh, you were, as a naughty boy, your mother was strongly holding your hands, but you were trying to touch the water. Water was very close. And side by side, so many boats were flying. Later on, I understood that there was a very big temple on the other side, on the hill. So, Later on I heard, people go there and explain, give puja and just, uh, just wish or pray to God for welfare of. So I did not understand that part. Anyhow, he told me, that you were uh, while trying times, I, what, not only one time, several times to touch the water. Naughty boy. So, naturally I would like to touch the water, water was very close to my boat. So, but my, my Mother was very much very strongly. He, he told that he, he was telling. Your mother was strongly holding your hand. But even then you drowned. You fell in the water. Drowned. And went deep. Who saved you that time? And that is how we were in front of me today. Just as he mentioned this, I remembered, yes, what I was all these times trying to remember. So, he told me. Wow, how 
who sent you? So I start, I remember later on I heard from my mother. I drowned, I went deep inside. It is exactly what Baba said. And uh, one, uh, my mother and other did not watch properly, just on the other boat, very close, all boats were very close. So, there was a very strong person, an expert person. So, he immediately jumped and brought me up. Uh, I heard that wrong from my mother. Baba told only this thing that who saved you? So, objectively speaking, that person I heard that wrong that saved me and I was brought on the shore of the river. The river was not around my heart from mother, river Narmada, and the city name was Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh, still now Madhya Pradesh. So, my one maternal uncle was doing job at that place, I mean Jabalpur. So anyhow, I had not long from my ma mother, that person brought me on the show and he was knowing the preliminary treatment for this drowned person because naturally I have my water, my, my entire lungs and you know, full of water. If it is not, all of these things are not taken out. I should certainly die. So he was knowing the preliminary treatment, so he pressed my this portion, and also most probably my stomach, and almost entire water came out. And then I went. My mother was crying. When I woke up and opened my eyes, I saw that mother was crying. And then one doctor was nearby, he was called. He examined me, as mother told, and he certified. It's okay, water has gone out. Your boy, your son, Talking, open her eyes, so no problem. I am simply giving some medicine, nothing else. So, these things when happening inside Baba's world. So, <laughs> when I heard all these things, many things I just, for like interpretation or understanding, I explained. All those things Baba did not say. Baba only said, they told that you, drow you were drowned. Mm. And who said you? Mm. So suddenly my memory was ignited. I remembered all these things that I have heard from my mother and Baba was telling that you have heard from somebody. S same time a question arose in my mind. To so see his villa. The question arose, who is this person? What even I forgot? Because I was grown up. So I almost forgot that, that thing, but it was in, inside mind how this person could know. The thing which is very secret to me. Even my other brothers, you know, who were born after me, I was the second son. So 
So they were not knowing who is this person who could know. He must not be a normal person. He must not be a normal person. First time it came in my mind when I mentally, psychically, fully surrendered. And because I understood that he was about God, I had no conception. But one conception was there, as I told in the very beginning that God is not any deity. He is a formless, right? so to say. So, but how this person could do? So, he must not be a normal person. He must be very, very great person. Extraordinary. So, then all this thing happened with me also, this beating and all this thing. And after that, he put me on his lap. And much affection, much love. I also cried, I also wept. Same thing happened with me. And we saw brothers, how great child. After some time he told, now you go out, my boy, other persons are waiting. Uh -huh. I remember he, maybe he gave some hints. will come to me whenever you get opportunity. This thing he told. And actually, uh, when I came out, my actually I did not find. So, then everybody, every person <coughs> became very close to me, psychic and understood that, that they, they, we are very close, as if we, we were knowing each other from other life also. <laughs> So close. So no inhibitions. Inhibitions, do you understand? Inhibition. In mind, at both the sides, I was free and frank with him, considering that they are my own brothers. Fortunately, that time, no sister I found. Might be there as well. For sister, there was no PC. That I understood. That time, I already, but time has passed. So I felt hunger. So, the monkeys. Hunger, naturally. So, monkeys told me, come, come, come. There is an arrangement for that in the, in the, in the same floor. We went there. I took completely vegetarian food. I was not uh, uh, taking vegetarian food in my local house, but I released it. It was tasteful, simple food, tasteful. Naturally, I started feeling an attraction towards him. And uh, maybe after one year, I was in graduation course, maybe second year. So, Already I was developing a strong will to go to Jamalpur. Uh, huh? To see Baba. 
So that time I found for quality time some time than two, three years past. So some Abhudhutas were made. So I heard after entering the ashram that uh, Baba comes Saturday at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Four, after you know, half day. Saturday in India still now this system is this. Either Saturday, full Sunday, but at that time, Saturday was half holiday for LA employee or LA government employee. And uh, <coughs> Sunday, Baba would come and give two darshan. But that day was actually, he, Abhedananda, upon seeing me, as if he was knowing something already earlier. He would be, come, 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 come. He took me in his room, living room. Beside his room there was some space. And he himself sprayed some blankets for me. He got tired. You go outside our ashram and just very close to ashram, opposite of ashram, you will find one so-called hotel. But he guided me that he is a Mari and he never prepares non veg food. He prepares only vegetarian diet, because all my organs also might come, they just eat there. And it takes very little price for that. He told me that you go, and take food, take some rest, Baba will come in the early afternoon, so, you will be fresh after taking rest. So, I did so. So, I got up uh, sufficiently before early afternoon. And I was waiting for Baba again. So, Abhedananda Dada guided me and I also found the Margi Dada moving. So, somebody told there was this small room, still I remember. A, Marenda. Marenda, you know, that this type of front space. Yeah, a small space. And on the right side, a room facing that side. That side. So, I uh, I you first, you know, I don't know before me anybody went or not, that he first put me later on I heard from Bhagavananda that Baba told him earlier before he is mentioning that I have come, Baba told that somebody would come by this name, my Lokic name, and uh, he will just put me, put him inside my room, very beginning. 
weapon on your hand. Anyhow, now all the came and were seated. So the door was open. So I just okay, proceeded before him. And he was very laughingly <laughs> and lovingly. He started telling me, Ultimately, you have come. Very <laughs> good. So, frankly speaking, while coming by the train in Malpoi, could not sleep a single moment, single second even in the train. Is that because you were uncomfortable or it, it No, not uncomfortable. It was due to me. Me means I was, you know, thinking always in my mind that upon past it Seeing Baba again, I shall tell this thing, that thing, this thing. That time I did not decide, but it came my mind that I, I shall sacrifice my life after my studies be finished. I will become a sannyasi. So, I was thinking very emotionally that uh, I should tell all these things to Baba, then Baba would certainly love me very much. Only one year was left for my, for my graduation course to complete. So, I went inside. And I was telling about my whatever I thought all through the night, you know, emotionally expressing to Baba, Baba, wherever I will remain, you will remain with me, or all these things, you know. One thing I did not say from the first PC. I was addressing Baba as Apni. Apni means respected you. In Bangla, Apni means respected you. This word is very important, that I understood. This did the miracle. So there is another word. Close persons could not only not say to another close person, Apni, to me. To me means affectionate, you. So, entire talking, I was addressing Baba Apni, 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 Apni. Respected this time, that I understood that this means that I, I'm, I was myself creating a distance with him. So, <laughs> he was certainly not satisfied. I was not satisfied. I thought that so much emotion, emotionally I am speaking to Baba, that Baba, whether I, whether I shall go, you will remain with me or not. Just for a moment, one moment, with, you know, my inner satisfaction was not there. And Baba's response was, was very small. Hmm. Mm. 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 But not, you know, as per my desire that Baba would say so much thing, you know, in reply. Particularly while I asked him this thing, I still remember. The Baba, you will remain with me wherever I shall be there as a time. That time, automatically, you know, I don't know how it came out from my mouth to me, you know, and 
this to me were that, that the Baba was waiting for this. Yeah. It did the miracle. Then Baba got up from his court. I know Baba was a Palwan, when built body, <laughs> early days. He was, you know, a type of, you know, a no, that you know, two persons, you know, in, in India it is called Pusti, Pusti means, you know, uh, what is that? Wrestling, wrestling. So Baba was that, you know, very well built body. Oh, yeah, wrestling. Yeah, wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very strong Yeah. So Baba just got up from his bed. This is the miracle. This to me was. He immediately got up from his bed as if he was waiting for this to me. <laughs> so he got up from his court and you know just a. Uh, that uh, bar. Right type of eagle. Just like an eagle, you know, an eagle will just take its victim, not by neck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he just like that, he brought me up. sat on the court and put me on his affectionate lap. And God gave me so much love, so much love, so much love. When, uh, when you say he's giving you love, is he speaking sweet things or just how are you showing a heavy He replied fast. You will see yourself that wherever you will be in Sannyasi, each moment, every moment I shall be with you. You may forget about me, but I shall remain with you. I shall not forget. So I did actually happen. So another thing directly related with Baba that happened in Jamalchi, uh, sorry, Ranchi. In the meantime, you know, Baba just resigned from his. Since then I went to Jamalchi three, four times. So I gathered information that Baba had. I have been sannyasi already as Brahmachari, Bhattacharya. And while I was, uh, I, we met Baba, two, three of us, sannyasi Charya, as Brahmachari. So, uh, got inside Baba's room, I got the first chance. And Baba told that, because later I understood that I cannot go to Bengal. Why my Gopi's mother mad to get me back. So, he somehow 
you know, that time Baba's friend will arrive in the tarmac. Huh? And uh, I heard that my mother somehow sneaked into the, the, that place, that tarmac. And Baba's door was up close to something like that. She just fully opened that and just jumped on Baba's feet. Yeah. Baba, I heard that Baba told this man. He is well, he is well. And you will talk, you will see and talk at appropriate time. Something like this, and in the meantime, you know, some Margis and some sannasis already were there. They just, you know, they were also waiting in the exit lounge. They came back running and just somehow Baba, Loki the mother was separated. And they believe that it will happen. Anyhow. So for this reason, I was, according to Baba's instruction, we never went, that was different happening. Anyhow. Conflict between Brihi, Acharya and the new other dudes. Was there some conflict? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It is true. So in the yeah. beginning, in the very beginning. Yeah, in the very beginning. Can you explain the, about this? This was there, which I also felt as WT. But uh, I, later on I heard, I was not present there, to Mahaprabhu at that time. One day, Acharya Raghunath, he was already there. Time, Vri Acharya, a very important personality already in the mark, in the marga, in the marga. Close to Baba. So Baba first asked that day, in front of everybody, I heard this. Raghunath, I told you to go to Gujarat, these places, these places, and you did not show your face last three months, and you are coming to me more than after six months. Why? And very shamefully, Raghunathi replied that our, my son developed some physical problem, this and that. Then Baba told all Marcus, you see, all the Acharyas whom I gave duty that then Sudhiji was also present. Sudhiji, I told you to go this place, this place, have you gone? Did you go? No, Baba. Why? Personal family problem. Then Baba looked at all my That is the reason that I have decided to, or I started the Sannashika. And from this moment to become Grihacharyas, to make Grihacharyas, he stopped. Because. Do you know what year this is? 66, 67. Okay. So then what did Baba say? Hmm? What did Baba say then? He made this announcement to the Mahdi. That this is the reason you see that. I have created Sannashi Kata and I stopped 
creating Griya Acharya because they're totally different. Yeah, you have all sin. Am I not justified? Yeah. About everybody have to say yes. All money is about it. In one voice. Of course, Baba, after coming in Kukata Baba, he wrote that only one time for only one time. What is happening today not like that. One time Baba told that, okay, I told, announced in Jamalpur that I shall never make uh, Jariyas. But it was in my mind that at least door should not be finally closed. So this first and last, you remember Baba told this first and last. So and this Baba told after coming in and Baba's logic, I mean friend, a very devoted Grihi Acharya. His name is Dr. Sachinandan Mandal. He was a Grihyacharya. He called him from his village, uh, I mean village town. You are to take care of the hospital. I am, I am starting, or I shall start with you in Anandanagar. Anandanagar was already declared by Baba by that time the world headquarters. I mean registered headquarters. And Baba at that time announced that camp head office. Yeah. So Baba told the camp head office would be where I shall be. So after that Baba started staying permanently in Kolkata. And also, you know, with much effort, you know, one day Baba had a uh, Rented house, South End Park, South End Park in Baligan, you know, the lake, 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 uh, yeah, lake, uh, yes, uh, that was uh, there. So one <laughs> Baba was staying in South End Park, so Baba went into Kolkata, came into Kolkata. That time I was pure Chief Secretary, not GS. So, but Baba already made uh, 200 uh, Samaj. That time Baba started Samaj movement. And Baba made me Samaj secretary. Uh, before we go on, I want to go back a bit. There was one other issue earlier on in the history of Ananda Mahika. I wanted your response. Um, how did you feel when Baba, and how did anyone else feel when Baba got married? Was that, um, was there confusion, uh, reaction, <laughs> happiness? Very, very important thing you have asked. <laughs> Many people want to know. Yeah, Baba was not married for a long time. Yeah. There were reasons. I mean, I mean so-called objective reason, two, three reasons. One reason is this, that in, in the family, Baba, Baba, with Baba there are four brothers. So, the next to Baba, second brother, his name was Kanai. His good name was Dansu Ranjan. All of uh, Baba was Prabhat Ranjan. Everybody, with everybody would be Ranjan. Yeah. So Dansu Ranjan in this way. But their nickname was something else. So Baba's second brother was not in an earning position, did not get job. At that time, Jamalpur Railway Workshop where believing or trusting more the Bengal people because they are sincere. So this factory where Baba was working as accountant. So before 
when I got job there, Baba's according to mother's instruction, Baba's income would go to sister. You know, Baba had an aunt or elder sister and somehow his husband died and he had one son and three daughters. So, Baba's mother arranged the uh, Baba's income will go to uh, uh, Baba's uh, one portion of income will be uh, for the family, Jamalpur, and the next place would go to mother, uh, elder sister. So that time Baba was unmarried. Even Baba, you know, Baba made first years a grihi, you know, but yeah. <laughs> so he was a good and money. Yeah, so he got finally he got married. He first he Baba raised in a very peculiar situation. Baba compelled him to marry. He was not even knowing few minutes before. He had, he had to marry the girl. Baba told that, yes, Pranay, his name is Pranay. Mm-hmm. You know, Pranay. Pranay, you have to marry. And the marriage will happen within one hour. And the girl is ready. She comes from a very, very good family. He came in Jamalpur. His guardian was there with him. They were not knowing Ananda Marga, but through some Ananda Marga sources. They came in Jagriti and met me and pleaded. That Baba, my daughter is there, but it is a And I did not find, uh, we did not find any match. Baba, I can't even think. Okay, okay, no, not bother you. You were ready. Baba was not talking with the daughter, but you were ready for this, yes. We do not know what management took place. You stay here. <laughs> They were taken aback, you know. Shock. Shock. But double shock or triple shock was with Pranay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what Baba was saying, he is, he is not married. And Baba was telling him to marry. So, anyhow, he had to escape. The marriage happened in front of him. In the meantime, Baba's mother, a very, very strong and intelligent lady, and very, very authority, authority, you know, in the family. Even Baba would go for some DMC somewhere. <laughs> so Baba, in the family, you know, Baba did never allow any to know anything about another mother. Only mother he was telling, something was to be told. Then mother, I am going to Allahabad support. So, this day or that day. Mother will say, okay. No, that way he was taking permission. He was taking permission officially from mother. In the meantime, one day Baba told, uh, Baba's mother 
born. He, he, you know, Baba's nickname from the childhood was Bubu. Affectionate. Affectionately, Baba was called Bubu. Bubu, now, he was about manageable, manageable age, now he must marry. So, Baba named the elder sister. She has got one lady at the same place where she was staying, I mean, Hooghly district, Chandana, you know, Hooghly district, Chandanagar or something like that, uh, close by Chandan. So, uh, I fixed finally. Baba took the name of uh, elder sister. You are too many. Huh. Okay. <laughs> and Baba also was in the beginning was, but he was knowing that he was he had to marry. So yes, mother, just like a very obedient son. Yeah, what will be? Yes, Baba. Yes, Mother. So it will happen very soon. So, now Kanai, already Kanai Kaku already got that job in the family. The financial pressure was redistributed anyhow. Now Kanai is doing job. So he is also supporting the family financially. And Kanaika was doing all. You no, know, Baba could not do any family work. Because his entire time was being spent in Anandamar. Then he came to. So Baba told yes. Within, I think, less than one month. And Baba, uh, actually, Baba was to go to marry a girl. The custom was there at that time, in the, in, even now, to daughter's house. But for Baba, you know, her mother was knowing well that, you know, Bobo cannot be sent to go there. He is busy with his something what he, what he does with Sandasis, you know. Only she would know this. Sandasis and Griyacharya. Among Griyacharya, only Pranay was going into the quarter. So, so he eventually married, married her. Uh, and, uh, and that girl came and stayed somewhere in Jamalpur. Could, Ma- I, have, could I have a honeymoon or anything after the marriage? Yeah, ma- after marriage. Was there any kind of honeymoon? Did I go right away from it? No honeymoon, nothing. <laughs> because Baba cannot leave another. Uh, I mean, Jamalpur. Too much responsibility. Yeah, responsibility. What, what was the reaction from the Margis and what? Yeah, Margis were first Be happy. What name would be to her, even talking, referring? They never saw her, except Punayada uh, and Abhedanandji. Nobody had entered entry in the room. Mother was moving only this person, two persons. So, so Margis was thinking how to address her. Baba's wife. <laughs> so they thought that by the simple mind Margis and Thai think that you would call her mother? Ma. Ma. 
means you know in india daughter in law could be addressed affectionately in family as bouma daughter in law means bouma okay so Acharyas, how was I thinking? So Acharyas, particularly Pranayana, was very happy. He was wanting this, and then in the meantime, one incident happened. Baba's fourth brother, just. Uh, Two three years before he died, Baba had an ancestral property apart from Jamalpur. You know, Baba's birthplace, uh, Baba's uh, paternal house was in Bamunpara, a village close to Bardhavan city. So that is why Baba used to go with entire Baba's mother will take them. That Bamun Para, and for that we have to stay at Bardhaman. So at Bardhaman, by Baba's income, and sometimes Margis are a good organization. Lots of Margis also helped. So one house was purchased, two-room house. I think that one it was made so two floors. So so Margit was in the beginning of addressing her as uh mother and somehow with somebody suggestion or something like that and knowingly they started calling her calling him Marga Mata Marga Mata, and physically this was not told to Baba. For everything, you know, Baba must have to take by it. Giri Acharyas and Sanyasis must have had this Abhidhananji to Abhidhananji permission should be taken. And Baba's wife, you know, to address Marga Mata, you know, Mata Baba and Marga. Simply, mother is different. Mother of Ananda Marga, which Baba never liked, which Baba never involved the family into the, including the Baba's wife. In the meantime, they had their first son. And when there was some change in Baba's room, brought by uh, change was done by her mother. Instead of one cot, two cots. At that time, some room was changed. There was a bigger room. So Baba was shifted with two cots with his wife there, and first son was born, Gautam. <coughs> so. That thing happened. So later on, Baba came to know Marga Mata. Even you know, Margi is without know, Baba. They dared to arrange for this for a seating before Baba had come, without asking Baba. Physically asking. Baba was an ongoing entity. One day, Baba came to know about that. Baba called all the nurses and priests, including Abhidhananda. Who is Abhidhananda? Why did you not tell me that? Uh, Maharaj started asking Margamata, who gave this permission? 
Vrindavan told him and others. Ananda Sutra was one of the beginning books. So did I not write in uh, Ananda Sutra? The Sutra, first Sutra, Shiva Shaktatma Kandrama, Shiva Shakti. Shiva is what? Fast. Baba explains Shiva what is fast than Shakti. Then second verse, Shakti sa Shiva sa Shakti. So in Madhga, there is no Madhgata. You understand? Only one entity, my teachings, every time, everywhere is this, do you not know? One entity. My philosophy, my everything he says, explains that worship one entity, meditate on one entity. Then I heard that Baba uttered the hearts of Kabira that the meaning of the hearts was this that same thing Ram Nam no Kabir was brought in the time of Rama but their their belief about Rama Rama was not that mythological Ajodha Rama it was ideative Rama for Kabi that uh, uh, Ram Nam, name of Ram, should be considered as figure one, one you know, one in Bangla or English. That is one one sum, one, uh, I mean, first sum of uh, that thing, one to ten. So that is one, and <coughs> after that, whatever number you put, zero, then it will, its value will increase hundred times. But without the one, there is nothing. So, but without that one, you can write thousand zeros, no value. Value comes when one is there in the beginning. And he is the one. So Baba told that to be one and supreme. You understand? Never mistake this. So no Marga Mada that time you know, everything stopped. But in time she became quite a spiritual person or was she actually super in the beginning she was you know, who, who can initiate her? Yeah. Except Baba himself. Because Baba cannot allow, allow any other, uh, no, no question of initiating her by any sannyasi. Suppose Pranayada. No, Pranayada also will not agree. Baba himself initiated. And Baba was supreme entity, you know, Tanakamama himself. In the beginning, she was, she had some, she felt some sensation. Well, she heard, you know, the gas, you know, Mr. Mantra, and, you know, hearing Mr. Mantra, Baba Lakron explained that when you hear, before that Baba uh, Acharya has explained all Suddhis. So after Suddhis, then Baba Acharya's talk. 
obtain that I now I shall utter the periodic mantra. You should not open your eyes. You meditate. So the last sutti, and I shall utter. You will hear. Utter for the last time. Only one time I shall utter your Rishta mantra. This will hear. So that thing happened. You know, later on, Baba told that explained that, that first time it happens mantra ghata. It creates mantra ghata. You know, strikes the Kundalini. Anyhow, so that 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 spiritual thing happened. So in the beginning, she was uh, very how to say devoted. And later on, and it went on up to Kolkata. Baba, by that time, was in Patna. When Raji there was problem, so Baba was brought to Paslo, brought to Anandagar to Raji, and Raji too, but. That was before just Baba's you know, arrest, nineteen, actually nineteen eighty or eighty or that freaking beginning of eighty one something like that. So till then, till then she was you know first P. Vishuddha Nanda. In the meantime, you know, conspiracy started in another market. So one day, uh, we all uh, there was a big dharma sala. Dharma sala, you know, Maravadi dharma sala means very big hall and all facilities at one place. So Margis and workers were staying there. Baba was staying in Southern Park with wife and for wife and uh, son in an adjacent room, and there was a connecting door. And Vishwakananda's room just attached on this side. This was the position there. Southern In the meantime, you know, CBI started conspiring, and they, uh, that in the beginning, CBI had no force of their own, police force, for that day, so they had to depend upon uh, local police force. And local police in Bihar, almost all are on the market. Yeah. All sympathizers had to on the market. So every moment the information was physically coming to us. Us means that time one, Baba made one law secretary, Kriya Acharya. Baba came to know that this CBI got information or inkling that uh, this PA, so called PA, in Shukhanan, was very close to. Be then Grihi Acharya. Two, uh, two persons were in a very big job in Delhi. One was Raghunath Prasad. He was collector customs. Means, collector customs means, collector means just secretary. 
little uh, uh, just below the most of finance and our finance secretary is Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi was doing this conspiracy. So, Logubil Prasad was staunch mark, both held from UP, Uttar Pradesh. He was given. Baba made his name was Virendra. Virendra. And he was deputy director of revenue intelligence. Revenue intelligence. CBI first made him their first connection to enter into the family of Baba. And through Virendra, Virendra was very close to one that time our Dutta and also GTS. That time our own training center was there in Banaras. Prakashanam, very long here. <laughs> Apparently out, outwardly he would be looking like a very pious soul, pious sadhu. Yes, actually he was a poet. So, Virendra Krishna. Adra, Hindu Kishore Bhadra. He, he was uh, very close to, Prakashan was very close to Virendra Kishore. So when CBI first approached Deputy Director of Intelligence that somehow Indira Gandhi, Prime Minister, wants that Baba. PA and through PA, our wife should be poisoned. Poison. Should be poisoned. That is antagonized against Baba. So they caught Prakashananda. He was close to Virendra uh, Kishore. He told the entire thing that Indira Gandhi is wants this. You are very close to Vishwakananda also, they told He told me. <coughs> so, you frankly, Baba was staying still at Rachi. So, Baba was. CBI, uh, Prakashan and the already poisoned, and he told um, Vishwakananda that this is India Gandhi. Everything he told, frankly, he was very close to Vishwakananda. And Vishwakananda poisoned Umadatta's mind. Huh? Babal Wai. So, the last time, I think, uh, historically, we all were staying. And somebody from quarter, I mean DSS, and Baba would need anybody, Baba would call through DSS. I was called. I went to Southern Paramahal's room. I heard that Baba was asking from DSS, my name, Sarvatmananda, has come, yes. Send him inside. I went inside. I was involved, so I am ready. I prostrated. Then Baba told, close that link door. You know that mother, mother will come with food and mother and son will come every day. 
and they will prostrate. Mother will do according to every lady's prostrate system and son prostrate full. This would happen every time. So Baba explained the first time in form that you see this thing is happening. Any moment she can leave this house and Ananda Marga, she is under the clutch of CBI and CBI has arranged one very big rented building in Delhi and, and they have arranged the study of the sun, everything. Baba was telling me, he asked me to close the door. So Baba told me, Baba's fourth brother, two, three years before he died, Baba had an ancestral property apart from Jamalpur. Uh, Baba's uh, paternal house was in Bamunpara, a village close to Bardhavan city. So that is why Baba used to go with entire Baba's mother will take them to that Bamunpara. And for that you have to stay at Bardhaman. So at Bardhaman, by Baba's income. And sometimes Margis are a good organization, lots of Margis also helped. So one house was purchased. Two room house, I think. Later on it was made, so two floors. So Margis were in the beginning of addressing her as uh, mother. And somehow, with somebody's suggestion or something like that, unknowingly they started calling him Marga Mata. Marga Mata. And physically this was not told to Baba. For everything, you know, Baba must have to take by it Giri Acharyas and Sannasis must have. At least Abhidhananji, through Abhidhananji permission should be taken. And Baba's wife, you know, to address Margo Matha, you know. <laughs> Mother of Ramana the Marga. Simply Mother is different. Mother of Ananda Marga. Which Baba never liked. Which Baba never involved the family into the including the Baba's wife. In the meantime, they had their first son. When, when there was some change in Baba's room, brought by uh, change was done by her mother. Instead of one cot, two cots. At that time, some room was changed. There was a bigger room. So Baba was shifted with two cots with his wife there. And first son was born, Gautam. <coughs> so, that thing happened. So, later on Baba came to know Marga Mata. Even, you know, Marga is without Baba. They dared to arrange for, his, for a seating before Baba had come, without asking Baba. Physically asked. Baba was an ongoing entity. One day, Baba came to know about that. Baba called all sannyasis. Why did you not tell me that uh, Maharaj started asking Maharaj Mata? Who gave this permission? Then Baba told him and others. Ananda Sutra was one of the beginning books. So did I not write in uh, Ananda Sutra? The Sutra, first Sutra, Shiva Shaktatma Brahma, Shiva Shakti, 
Shiva is what fast, Baba explains Shiva what is fast and Shakti. Then second verse, Shakti sa Shiva sa So in Marga, there is no Marga Mata. You understand? Only one entity. My teachings, every time, everywhere is this, you do not know. One entity. My philosophy, my everything he says, explains that worship one entity, meditate on one entity. Then I heard that Baba uttered the verse of Kabira. The meaning of the verse was this that same thing, Ram, Nam. No, Kabir was brought into the time of Rama. But their, their belief about Rama, Rama was not that mythological Ajodha Rama. It was ideative Rama for Kabir. That Ram, Nam, name of Ram, should be considered as figure one. One, you know, one in Bangla or English. That is one, one sum. After that, whatever number you put, zero, then it will, its value will increase hundred times. So, Bhavadur, but without that one, you can write thousand zeros, no value. Value comes when one is there in the beginning. And he is the one. So Baba told that to be one and supreme. You understand? Never mistake this. So no Marga Mata that time you know, everything stopped. But in time she became quite a spiritual person or was seen actually super in the beginning she was no who can initiate her except Baba himself because Baba cannot allow, allow any other no, no question of initiating her by any sannyasi suppose Pranayada no Pranayada also will not agree Baba himself initiated and Baba was supreme entity, you know, Tanakamana himself. So in the beginning she was, she had some, she felt some sensation. Well, she heard, you know, the gas, you know, Mr. Mantra. And, you know, hearing Mr. Mantra, Baba Lakhron explained that when you hear, before that, Baba uh, Acharya has explained on Suddhis. So after Suddhis, then Baba Acharya has told that I now I shall utter the Yodhishta Mantra. You should not open your eyes. You meditate. So the last Suddhi, and I shall utter. You will hear. Utter for the last time. Only one time I shall utter your Rishta Mantra. This will hear. So that thing happened to me, you know. Later on Baba told that, explained that, that first time it happens, Mantra Ghata. It creates Mantra Ghata, you know, and strikes the Kundalini. Anyhow, so that, that, that spiritual thing happened. In the beginning, she was uh, very, how to say, devoted. And later on? Huh? And later on? And it went on up to Kolkata. Baba, by that time, was in Patna. And actually, there was a problem. So Baba was brought to Paslo, uh, uh, brought to Anandagar to 
Raji and Raji too, but that was before just Baba's uh, arrest. Nineteen, natural nineteen eighty, or eighty, or that freaking beginning of eighty one, something like that. So till then, till then she was, you know, first PA. Vishukar Nandi. In the meantime, you know, conspiracy started in Ananda Marga. So, one day uh, we all, uh, there was a big dharmasala, dharmasala you know, Maravari dharmasala means very big hall and all facilities at one place. So Margis and workers were staying there. Baba was staying in Southern Park with wife and for wife and uh, son in an adjacent room and there was a connecting door. And Vishwakananda's room just attached on this side. This was the position there, South Park. In the meantime, you know, CBI started conspiring and the, uh, that in the beginning of the I had no force of their own, police force or others. So they had to depend upon uh, local police force. And local police in Bihar, almost all are on the market. Yeah. All sympathizers had to on the market. So every moment the information was physically coming. To us. Us means that time one Baba made one law secretary, Kri Acharya. He was a historical person, just now on my his name is Ramtanu. So through Ramtanu. Baba came to know that this CBI got information or inkling that uh, PA, so called PA, means Vishukhananda. was very close to the then Grihi Acharya. Two, uh, two persons were in a very big job in Delhi. One was Raghunath Prasad. He was collector customs. Means, collector customs means, collector means just secretary. Little uh, uh, just below the post of finance secretary, and our finance secretary is Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi was doing this conspiracy. So, Logubit Prasad was staunch man, both held from UP, Uttar Pradesh. He was different. Baba made. His name was Virendra. Virendra. And he was Deputy Director of Revenue Intelligence. Revenue Intelligence. CBI first made him their first connection to enter into the family of Mount. Baba. 
and through Birendra, Birendra was very close to one that time, our Dhuta, and also GTS. That time our own training center was there in Benares. Prakashananda, very long here. <laughs> Apparently, out, outwardly, he would be looking like a very pious soul, pious sadhu. Yes, actually, he was a poet. So, Birendra Krishna Bhadra, Birendra Krishna Bhadra, he, he was uh, very close to, Prakashananda was very close to Birendra Krishna. So when CBI first approached Deputy Director of Intelligence that somehow Indira Gandhi Prime Minister wants that Baba PA and through PA Baba's wife should be poisoned. Poison. poison should be poison, that is antagonized against Baka. So they caught Dasananda. He was close to Dhyendra uh, Kishan. So he told the entire thing that Indira Gandhi is once this. You are very close to Vishwakananda also, they told, he told me. <coughs> so, you, frankly, Baba was staying still at Tachi. So, Baba was uh, Prakashananda already poisoned. And he told um, Sukhananda that he was India Gandhi. Everything he told, frankly. He was very close to Sukhananda. Sukhananda was an Umadatta's mind. So, the last time I think. Uh, historical even uh, uh, Dharmasala, Binani Dharmasala, still uh, it is existing. Binani Dharmasala. We all were staying. And somebody from quarter, I mean DSS, and Baba would need anybody, Baba would call two DSS. I was called. I went south in Paramahabadrum. I heard that Baba was asking some guesses. My name, Sarvatmananda, has come. Yes. Send him inside. I went inside. I was in Bob, so I am twenty. I prostrated. Then Baba told. Close that link door. You know that mother, mother will come with food and mother and son will come every day. And they will prostrate. Mother will do according to lady, lady's prostrate system and son prostrate full. This would happen every time. So Baba explained first time in form that you see this thing is happening any moment she can leave this house and Ananda Marga she is under the clutch of CBI and CBI has arranged one very big rented building in Delhi huh? And they have arranged the study of the sun, everything. Baba is telling me, 
asked me to close the door. So Baba told me, ask me. I want to change just now Vishukana. Immediately just within few moments. Whose name do you recommend? Baba was asking me. So I told that Baba, you know that I have some difficulty because I was involved also in so called, you know. When Margaret came to somebody like that. Not actually involved, but actually similar. I was already an accused in Baba's case. So I suggested the name of Raman. No, then Baba told him, said that okay. You while remaining here, staying here, send some PSS and call Raman. And uh, Raman was called, I was also called. In front of me, Raman was there. He, from this moment, he was my PA. Okay. So now you immediately within few minutes you take charges from Shukananda. And the Shukananda will do whatever he likes. But you have to change this. Ramananda had nothing to say. So After Baba directly did not call him, so Ramananda he told, he told him that you are now on the PA and you are the PA and you are the charges here and then another I, Yaman, Raji. He did not do anything. So they did not do, they had to go just then. In the evening, Baba had last Prabhachana, DMC. Last Prabhachana, DMC. Then so, Baba, Baba was going, already told the Maranda, they will leave this night and go on the CBI clutch. Baba only told me that remain alert. Told me. Remain alert, you remain mixed with everybody. And you are, you know, that time I was central DPS. You are, you, you have some trusted persons, you, you know, Workers, I mean, trusted workers. So, you are at them. Now, uh, name some of them that you want to name. Nikomana. Baba would love him very much. But his own quality, moral courage. Baba uttered this word in front of me. Moral courage means for any problem he would jump us. That will be a rare quality. Anyhow, Nigamananda, like you know, you just fix. They remain uh, after they go, go out from here, they will remain in some shelter which they will arrange. To Kolkata, and they may come after I retire. I come back from Dharmasala and go back to some southern part. They they might 
creates a problem. So, he may let her take the death from Nigma and all this. He did so. Baba did not take the name of first Abhudhuta, Sattananda, who was present there. Automatically, he would be supported of Baba. So, I did not tell him anything. Actually, at night, dead hours of night, I think 12, past 12, something, everybody, hey, get up, get up, Marga Mata was coming. Again, that Marga Mata came back. <laughs> People do not understand who is Marga Mata. of people got up. And that lady, you know, one chair was given by kept on the stage, in the same stage. And Baba was seated. I was seated on court as per arrangement. Seated there. And she, you know, and she was taught, you know, she was not very much you know, learned. The early uh, school final or something like that. School final final school exam, school level exam. You know, just as Vishwananda Post uh, told that. Don't believe this Amana Murti. He is not bad. he is bad person, he is a Maharaja. You can die. Told something. And rest, you know. Vishukananda explained. Nobody lied. In the meantime, first a, a, a taste of price as rose by Shatana. We do not want to hear anything against Ananda Murti. You understand? You go back, you all go back from here. You are not Ananda Margi. We all are devoted Ananda Margi here. If you don't go, we will apply force. Hold it. Satyananda was very fearful person. Immediately just they. I think some workers were uh, become favorite to them. Because they could not they could not say Vishwananda was uh, Satananda was the same person after this happening by night. Baba told me to keep the color, so I was clearing uh, workers and Margi's mind. You know, the conspiracy, long drawn conspiracy by India and this and that. So, uh, at night, you know, Sattananda uh, went to Baba and told him, he found everything. So, I told him, okay, tomorrow morning I should call all of us. Anyhow, that happened. Baba explained to all of us, I explained that conspiracy, this and that. You know, I remain busy with organization. Who would I depend? He and my wife. I was knowing that they was going to that extent. But I did not want to interfere. I was told. Why now, by some reason, is known to Baba. Baba wanted, you know, that incarceration to happen, you know. A history is created. That Guru, not only his disciples would go in jail, suffer there, but he himself would put himself in that condition. Except Baba, who could be that Guru? Tanaka Brahma himself would think like in this direction. That might be the reason that Baba 
preferred this in consideration himself, allowed things to happen accordingly. Anyhow, <coughs> so your question is implied. One thing you asked in the beginning that how I became here. Yeah, I'll come to that, but Mara and left. Not call Mara, Mara. Mara, sorry. Then, Uma Datta. Uma Datta. Uma Datta. She left with Dara. Uh, with uh, Gautam. And did any Mahadis go with her? No, no, nobody can go. Nobody can go. Yeah. She just went by herself. Yeah. CBI kept some civil dress, some security. I mean, police. We had police. I heard, you tell me if you know this is true, Baba said if she wants to come back, his door is always open or something. Not that moment. After Baba came out from there, Baba gave one chance. You know, the historical thing in reply to your question, I am telling the facts. After coming out from there, that was a great historical event, you know. Even in public history, in Patna history, you know, people by that time came to know that Ananda Bhagavad Gita was the talk. Yeah. When I was arrested, before Baba's arrest, you know, I was already in, you know, that was a different thing. My, what should I say, remaining incognito, according to Baba's advice. So, so I, gave a... so I know this. So Baba, after coming back, uh, coming out from jail, you know, by the time, you know, public also became, Oh, Baba, what kind of this person is? But he has supernatural power. Otherwise, Indira Gandhi, you know, applied full force against him. Still, sister Baba already started fasting that time, you know. Five years is fasting. So he gave her permission to come back. Pardon? So when Baba got out of jail... So Baba gave one last chance. In front of everybody Baba told that Baba name. Yeah. Uma Datta, first name was Uma Datta. Vishukananda, no, first Vishukananda, second name was Uma Datta. And uh, Baba two, three, four other names, very close to Kishuka, working still. They are finally expelled from Allah. Intentionally Baba might have done so. Anyhow, Baba came out from jail, so he came to but now, I told you, then ultimately Baba came to Kolkata. Kolkata Baba, that time, two quarters, first quarter was like gardens, Madhumalancha. And numbers started swelling you know, in India and in the world, you know, already. Baba sent workers from inside the jail. So Ramtanu gave directions and directions to acting G.S. was uh, died. Uh, just now, actually, he, 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 Baba, you know, Baba still maintained some link. You know, yes. with uh, that family. How I told you that Baba's sister, older sister, still living that moment, 
she, you know, actually could not see Baba. She lost her eyesight. She was leaving. So, so she, Baba, every time, you know, outside India, particularly from India, you know, the Himachal Pradesh, um, orchards, apple orchards, peach order or, orchards, peach, peach. Yeah, yeah. You know, very well. And another fruit, very sweet. They will send buckets up to buckets. They will bring or send to somebody. And Baba will start sending to Ramananda. Ramananda somehow got the link of one sister, elder sister. Her name was Ruby. Ruby did. Still, the my sister who connected with Baba, allowing him getting bound to. They, they were present when King Shuji was brought. And King Shuji's marriage. Baba also, that was a different part. And I'm just trying to understand. Baba gives, tells his wife that she can come back. How? How? In two ways. That is, Baba was sending, according to Baba's instruction, Ramananda was sending one bucket, mostly apple. No, from Simla, original apple, very sweet. So, to Ruby Diti and her family. And one bucket for Umadha. Because Umadha, uh, uh, Ruby Diti had contact with Umadha. You see, well, two reasons I told. One reason is the, was this, that Baba, how you know Baba was sending, what should I say? But, uh, if you want, you can come back. But now you have to come back to your head going. Something like that, anyhow. So Baba sent, he used to send. They would eat. Very certainly, <laughs> they will send thanks to Ruby Deep. Uh, I was knowing, uh, by that time I was, yes. Just, Baba is just going back to Baba when he was with his wife. Huh? When Baba was with his wife, did he ever show, did he ever behave like um, a man would be to a woman or was he very, uh, did he ever show any affection like old hand? Baba never, never, never caught him or her, caught her, never, never. What happened in Jamalpur, Jamalpur, you know, for producing a child, whatever, you know, happens with wife and husband, that is different. But after coming to Nachi and all these things happen, you know, this woman at the, in open court, she told that, yes, you know, that Baba was fasting, and Ramatanuki arranged at the court that he will be brought in stretcher and kept outside. In Patna court, the trial was going on. And when the call would be there, he would be brought. And some Margis will just hold, hold him tight in the stretcher. You know? So, so, so this Madhata, that lady, indicated to CBI. Yes, he is a murderer, my lawyer, our lawyer, very intelligent lawyer. He saved the case, actually. 
he, she told, you know, the repercussion of this statement, yours. Prabhupada Anjana Sarkar be sent to jail when their final judgment will come. I do not bother. This was her statement. So, the link was cut up, but, but, one link I was already there, I told Gautam. In the meantime, Gautam was not in the picture. She grew up, she became a doctor. He became a doctor and married a doctor. And they had one daughter. Huh? Baba rejected Gautam later on. What was the reason for that? That I am telling. So, Baba did not first reject him. Suddenly, Ramananda one day got one phone. Unknown number. That time, phone was developed, you know, in India, internet, this type of. So, by saying that I am uh, Gautam, I am Dr. Gautam Sarka, hearing from Kolkata, I am now here and I want to meet Baba. Ramananda told to him, okay, I should tell Baba, and uh, Baba allowed them, I shall communicate with you. So, because uh, the number was not there, so Ramananda might have thought that to, to Ruby did he just send to her Baba permission or rejection. Strangely enough, you know, I was present, Ramananda was first, you know, fearing, even he was trembling. How to tell this thing to Baba, Baba would be furious upon him to take the name of Gautam. Why, why are you fearing? I told him. I had to be with you. I would be with you. Oh, yeah. Don't mind. I shall see that Baba would remain calm. Let us see what Baba's Nila is there. So, why are you? Yes. Then he got the. So, he told that you must have to remain. Yes, I told that I shall remain with you. So, Baba called one day. So Baba was told in front of me by Ramana. But Baba very easily, easily Baba told, okay. You can inform him that you can inform him. Baba gave one day, I think I took three, four days. If he wants, if he wants. He can come with his family, with his family. So that was communicated through Ruby Didi. I, I was GS, I told in the gate because at that time GSS was very tight. <laughs> so GSS security in Baba's room. I told the security that that time, King Sunji also uh, was also brought as adopted son. Anyhow, so I told security that one person will come with wife and this and that. Security head also, I say. So bring them with you. Bring them with you. Directly to Baba. So they came, they fixed up 
I have the time. And Baba, I, we were on the other side of the door, particularly me. I was hearing that uh, Baba was, Baba took the daughter, very small that time. In, in a lap, patted her, which means. And asked, What name you have given to her? So Gautam took some name. Gautam's mother, her wife took some name. No, this is not according to Margaret's sister. But directly to I gave this name. He should use this name if you prefer. Because you know, any other name would not be according to Baba's system. Baba's system uh, giving name, you know, with Acharya laws. So, uh, well, they are not okay, certainly. Anyhow, first day they came and went. Then second time they did not come. But already they expressed desire that the first Annaprasana, Annaprasana means first baby will take food. That is a ceremony in Chajacha. Baby naming ceremony. So that would happen, they expressed desire to happen eating what? Baba Kwan. <coughs> that time Gautama was alone inside Baba's. In the meantime, he would come two, three times. So, Baba uh, two three times he came as, as usual. We we'll just put him inside the room. We cannot remain inside. One day from outside the door, I hear the angry voice. The Baba's angry voice, you know, Baba was angry. <laughs> Uh, what should I say? Mahavishya, the great universal Shiva. That was Baba, you know. When you would be angry, you know. <laughs> the expression would be so strong. So, this type of angry voices of Baba, I heard from outside. Ramananda was so hard. <laughs> he was father 35. <laughs> Anyhow, while Gautam was inside, in the meantime, Baba Asta told us that make arrangements. The marriage will take place in quarter if possible, in jaggerity will take place. Will take place. So, but Baba also gave condition, I cannot go there. I cannot go there. Baba made it clear. Anyhow, so that day Baba was very angry and then Baba called by bell. One bell means PA, two bells means me. Three bells means King Shukri. So, Baba gave one, both two, press two, this. We, ha we hardly went inside Baba's room. While Gautama was there in his boat, 
Yes, down, certainly. And thou asked me, Sahapalanda, we have seen from Jamalpur to Kolkata, Patna, wherever still they were in inside a good separation. This Gautam would come and I also ordered you that day that you arranged his baby's birthday ceremony in Jagriti. So I went this much for this bad boy, our declared is bad boy. And from this moment I declare her and you call, tell everybody. He is expelled person in Andhavan. He is no more my son. I this I deny his me becoming his father. I have told this thing, I physically deny. So, can you summarize in one sentence the reason Baba is expelling Gautam? Is it because he did not follow the system of naming his. And then Baba explained to us. While Gautam just going ahead, Baba told all this thing, he went back, you know, went outside, and already. King Shunti heard this, all these things shouting and all that. He just intelligently told, the, you know, made the person, Jesus person, to make passage. Oh, he said, going out. Anyhow, then Baba told, told us, I, me and Baba. Then Baba explained that thing. Again, why? Why he would be accepted, my son? As my son, I gave so much chances. He was the last link. I was even sending pens and all these things for them also. They were accepting. They were releasing. I even I told you this thing and that. And then, Annaprasan, this living ceremony. Yeah. In front of God first that he never does so. Then Baba looked at me, Sarvatmananda. You know to stay before me. And all these days I have allowed him, this boy. Um, he did not prostrate. Can he be fit? For my becoming for my son, I declared him as not my son. Expel her son in Andamar. So this I told already. Uh, the last link was cut. Now you told about becoming GS. Yeah, GS and PA. Was that, how did that happen? And what, I mainly wanted to know what was it like working, what was it like working as Baba's PA and GS? Was it enjoyable? Was it a lot of tension? No. What was it like? For becoming, after GA, Baba was already here. Yeah. And he was permanently staying here. All these things happened in the, in this angel uh, of water. So, there was no problem with Ramananda. Till then. Did you find it easy? Was, was Baba... I had no problem. 
because uh, Ramananda you know, already knew me yeah. and uh, very good relation. So when you when you were given the job, did you feel excited, or worried, or what was your feeling? Uh, I you know before me, I was summer secretary that time I took to. After DPS, Baba changed the Samaj secretary. Because Baba was building up Samaj. Yeah, yeah. All 200 Samaj worldwide. And Baba was giving a card to different places to organize Samaj. So you were familiar with Baba's system in the organization? Yeah, yeah. Very familiar. So I was a medium for everything that happened. So. One day, Baba was here. No, Baba was still uh, coming, would come here on Friday morning, Saturday. Sunday, Baba's quarter, there was a big hall, still now. So there, Baba would just uh, give discourses. Understand? Suddenly one day Baba called Vishoka, uh, Keshavana. So this person, Baba indicated Bhavana. He is a Kodak person. Baba used this word, Kodak person. Yeah. A Kodak person. He steals the good things which Margi would send for me. Because Baba had made the system that right time. Nasimanaji was the garden in charge. In the gardens. Here also. So Nasimananda first tell Baba or show Baba Baba this this Margi, this worker has brought this thing and that. Baba was telling, do you know, he would steal all those my personal things and most of the things he will not give to me. His most favorite, do you know, Baba was telling him. Dada Sava Manandaji is recounting his first PC with Baba and Baba reminds him of a drowning incident that he was involved in. I saw that he was <coughs> straight looking at me. That time I saw in his look, I remember till now, that is a completely different look. Very deep. But very pleasing. So he asked he asked me when you were three and a half years old, what happened to you, my boy? You can understand. that I, I, one will ask me this question because I was already a grown-up person, as I told earlier. How can I remember the incident that happened with me, three and a half years old? Three times he told me and he was helping, waiting and helping, smiling face. Yeah, yeah, you cannot remember, understand, but you heard from somebody. You know that. You tell that what you have heard from others, actually from my mother. 
three times he asked me so why you could not my i even after best my my effort i could not even manage it then strangely enough he started describing he himself started describing that is it is my boy he was very not it type very restless person and uh, the the that was a river very it very much <coughs> current and uh, you were as a naughty boy your mother was strongly holding your hands but you were trying to touch the water water was very close and side by side so many boats were flying later on i understood that there was a very big temple on the other side on the hill so later on i heard people go there and explain the puja and just uh, just wish or pray to god for our welfare of so i did not understand that part and you have he told me that you were uh when trying times i want not only one time several time to touch the water not a boy so naturally i would like to touch the water water was very close to my boat so but my mother was very much very strong you he told that he, he was telling your mother was strongly holding your hand but even then you drowned you fell in the water drowned and went deep who saved you that time and that is how we were in front of me today just as he mentioned this i remember yes what i was all this time trying to remember so he told um, wow how how who said you so i start i remember the letter on my heart from my mother that i drowned i went deep inside like it is exactly what baba said and uh, uh, one uh, my mother and other they did not watch properly just on the other boat very close all boats were very close so there was a very strong person an expert person he immediately jumped and brought me up uh, i had that run from my mother baba told me on the this thing that who said you 
objectively speaking, that person I had let alone that saved me, and I was brought on the shore of the river. The river was let alone my heart from mother, river Narmada, and the city name was Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh, still now Madhya Pradesh. My one met maternal uncle was doing job at that place, I mean Jabal. So anyhow, I had that one from a ma mother, that person brought me on the show and he was knowing the preliminary treatment for this drowned person because naturally I have my, water, my, my entire lungs and full of water. If it is not, all of these things are not taken out, I should certainly die. So he, he was knowing the preliminary treatment, so he pressed my, this portion and also most probably my stomach, and almost entire water came out. And then I went, oh. <coughs> my mother was crying. When I woke up and opened my eyes, I saw that mother was crying. Then one doctor was nearby, he was called. He examined me, as mother told, and he certified. It's okay, water has gone out. Your boy, your son is talking, opened her eyes, so no problem. I am simply giving some medicine. Nothing else. So this thing when happening inside Prabhupada. So <laughs> when I heard all these things, many things I just for interpretation and understanding I explained. All those things Baba did not see. Baba only said, they told that you drown, you were drowned. Mm. And who saved you? Mm. So then suddenly my memory was ignited. I remembered all these things that I have heard from my mother, and Baba was telling that you have heard from somebody. S same time a question arose in my mind. To so see his Leela. The question arose so who is this person? What even I forgot? Because I was grown up. So I almost forgot that, that thing, but it was in, inside mine. How this person would know? The thing which is very secret to me. Even my other brothers, you know, who were born after me, I was the second son. So, they were not knowing. Who is this person who could know? must not be a normal person. He must not be a normal person. First time it came in my mind, when I mentally, psychically, fully surrendered. And <laughs> because I understood that he was 
about God, I had no conception. But one conception was there, as I told in the very beginning, that God is not any deity. He is a formless, right? so to say. So, but how this person could do? So, he must not be a normal person. He must be very, very great person, extraordinary. So, then all this thing happened with me also, this beating and all this thing. And after that, he put me on his lap. And much affection, much love. I also cried, I also wept. Same thing happened with me and we saw brothers, how great child. After some time he told, now you go out, my boy, other persons are waiting. Uh -huh. I remember he, maybe he gave some hints. Will come to me whenever you get opportunity. This thing he told. <coughs> and actually, uh, when I came out, my actuality I did not find. So, then everybody, every person <coughs> became very close to me. Psychic and understood that, that they are there, we are very close, as if we, we were knowing each other from other life also, <laughs> so close. So no inhibitions. Inhibitions, do you understand? Inhibition. In mind, at both the sides, I was free and frank with him considering that they are my own brothers. Fortunately, that time no sister I found. Might be there as well. For sister there was no PC. That That time I already, much time has passed, so I felt hunger. So the monkeys, Hunger, naturally. So Maggie told me, come, 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 there is an arrangement for that. In the, in the, on the same floor, I went there. I took completely vegetarian food. I was not uh, uh, taking vegetarian food in my local house. But I released it. It was tasteful, simple food, tasteful. Then actually, I started feeling an attraction towards him. And uh, maybe after one year, I was in graduation course maybe second year. So, already I was developing a strong will to go to Jamalpur. Uh, huh? To see Baba. To see Baba. So, that time, I found, already time, some time, some two, three years passed, so some Abhudhutas were made. So I heard after entering the ashram that uh, Baba comes Saturday at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. for after half day 
Saturday in India still now this system is based. Either Saturday full Sunday, but that time Saturday was half holiday for LA employee or any government employee. And uh, <coughs> Sunday Baba would come and give two darshan. But that day was actually he, Bhavedananda, upon seeing me, as if he was knowing something already earlier. He would be, come, 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 come. He took me in his room, living room. Beside his room there was some space. And he himself sprayed some blankets for me. You are tired. You go outside our ashram. And just very close to ashram, opposite of ashram, you will find one so called hotel. But he guided me that he is the Margi. And he never prepares non veg food. He prepares only vegetarian diet because all my workers who come, they just eat there. And he takes very little price for that. He told me that you go and take food, take some rest. Baba will come in the early afternoon. So you will be fresh after taking rest. So I did so. So I got up uh, sufficiently before early afternoon. I was waiting for Baba again. So, Abhadananda Dada guided me, and I also found the Margi Dada moving. But he told there was this small room. Still, I remember a barenda. Barenda, you know, that this type of front space. Yeah, a small space. And on the right side, a room facing that side. That side. So I Abhedanji I mean, first, you know, I don't know before me anybody went or not, that he first put me later on. I heard from Abhedananda that Baba told him earlier. Before he is mentioning that I have come, Baba told that somebody would come by this name, my Lokic name, and uh, he will just put me, put him inside my room, very beginning. Later on, I heard it from him. Anyhow, Already came and were seated, so the door was open. So I just again okay, proceeded before him, and he was very laughingly <laughs> and lovingly, he started telling. 
ultimately you have come. Yeah, very good. <laughs> so, frankly speaking, while coming by the train in Himalpur, I could not sleep a single moment. Single second even in the train. Is that because you are uncomfortable or No, not uncomfortable. It was due to me. Me means I was, you know, thinking always in my mind that upon past seeing Baba again, I shall tell this thing, that thing, this thing. That time I did not decide, but it came my mind that I, I shall sacrifice my life after my studies be finished. I will become a sannyasi. So, I was thinking very emotionally that uh, I should tell all these things to Baba. Then Baba said, you love me <laughs> very much. Only one year was left for my, for my graduation course to complete. So, I went inside and I was telling about my whatever I thought all through the night you know, emotionally expressing to Baba, Baba, wherever I will remain, you will remain with me, or all these things, you know. One thing I did not say, to the first PC, I was addressing Baba as Apni. Apni means respected you. In Bangla, apni means respected him. This word is very important, that one I understood. This did the miracle. So there is another word. Close persons could not only not say to another close person, apni, to me. To me means affectionate. You. So, entire talking, I was addressing Baba Apni, 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 Apni. Respected distance, that I understood that this means that I, I'm, I was myself creating a distance with him. So, <laughs> he was certainly not satisfied. I was not satisfied. I thought that so much emotion, emotionally I am speaking to Baba, that Baba, whether I, but I shall go, he will remain with me or not. Just for a moment, one a moment, with, you know, my inner satisfaction was not there. Baba's response was, was very small. Hmm. 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 But not, you know, as per my desire that Baba would say so much thing, you know, in reply. Particularly while I asked him this thing, I still remember. If Baba, you will remain with me wherever I shall be there at the long time. That time automatically, you know, I don't know how it came out from my mouth to me. You know? And this to me word, I think Baba was waiting for this. Yeah. It did the miracle. Then Baba got up from his court. And you know Baba was a Palwan, well built body. <laughs> early days, he was, you know, a type of 
No, no hay voz. No, that, you know, two persons, you know. In, in India it is called Pusti. Pusti means, you know. Uh, what is that? Wrestling, wrestling. So Baba was that, you know. Very well built body. Oh, yeah, wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very strong and strong. Yeah. So Baba just got up from his bed. This is the miracle. This two new world. He immediately got up from his bed as if he was waiting for this to be. <laughs> so he got up from his bed. And you know, just a. That uh, bar, uh, uh, kite type of uh, eagle, just like an eagle, you know, an eagle will just take its victim, not by take. Grab. <laughs> yeah. Grab the yeah. So he just like that, he blocked me up and sat on the court and put me on his affectionate lap. And God gave me so much love, so much love, so much love. When you say he's giving you love, is he speaking sweet things or just how are you showing a heavy He replied fast, you will see yourself that wherever you will be in Sannashi, each moment, every moment I shall be with you. You may forget about me, but I shall remain with you. I shall not forget you. So I did actually have it. So and the thing directly related with Baba that happened in Jamalchi. In the meantime, you know, Baba just resigned from his. Since then I went to Jamalpur three, four times. So, I gathered information that Baba has. I have become sannyasi already. As Brahmachari. Bhattacharya. And while I was I, we met Baba, two, three of us, Sannasi, Charya, and Brahmachari. So, uh, got inside Baba's room, I got the first chance, and Baba told that, because Later I understood that I cannot go to Bengal. Why my Rokit mother mad to get me back? So he somehow, you know, that time Baba's plane will arrive in the tarmac. Huh? And uh, I heard that my mother somehow sneaked into the, the that place, that tarma. And Baba's door was up closed or something like that. She just fully opened that and just jumped on Baba's feet. So 
Yeah. Baba, I heard that Baba told this man. He is well, he is well. And you will talk, you will see and talk at appropriate time. Something like this, and in the meantime, you know, some margis and some sannasis already were there. They just, you know, they were also waiting in the exit lounge. They came back running and just somehow Baba, Loki the mother, was separated. And they believed that it could happen. Anyhow. So for this reason, I was, according to Baba's instruction, we never went, that was different happening. Anyhow. Conflict between Brihi Acharya and the new other dudes. Was there some conflict? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It is true. So in the yeah. beginning, in the very beginning. Yeah, in the very beginning. Can you explain the, about this? This was there, which I also felt as WT. But uh, I, later on I heard, I was not present at the Mahaput at time. One day, Acharya Raghunath, he was already there. Time, Vri Acharya, a very important personality already in the mark, in the marga, in the marga. And close to Baba. So Baba first asked that day, in front of everybody, I heard this. Raghunath, I told you to go to Gujarat, these places, these places, and you did not show your face last three months, and you are coming to me more than after six months. Why? And very shamefully, Raghunathi replied, the power of my son developed some physical problem, this and that. Then Baba told all markets. You see, all the Acharyas whom I gave duty that then Sudhiji was also present. Sudhiji, I told you to go this place, this place, have you gone? Did you go? No, Baba. Why? Personal family problem. Then Baba looked at all my That is the reason that I have decided to or I started the Sannashika. And from this moment to become Grihacharyas, to make Grihacharyas, is stopped. Because. Do you know what year this is? 66, 67. Okay. Right, so then what did Baba say? Hmm? What did Baba say then? He made that, this announcement to the Mahdi. That this is the reason you see that. I have created Sannashi Kata and I stopped creating Griya Acharya because they are totally different. I don't have the time. Yeah, you have all seen. Yeah. Am I not justified? Yeah. About everybody had to say yes. Yeah. All Mali is about the thing. In one voice. Of course, Baba, after coming in Kukata Baba, Remove that only one time for only one time. What is happening today? Not like that. One time I was told that okay, I told, announced in Jamalpur that I shall never make uh, Giriyajariyas. 
but it was in my mind that at least door should not be finally closed. So this first and last, you remember Baba told this first and last. So and this Baba told after coming in and Baba's Lokik, I mean friend, a very devoted Grihi Acharya. His name is Dr. Sachinandan Mandal. He was a Grihi Acharya. He called him from his village, I mean village town. You are to take care of the hospital. I am, I am starting, I shall start with you in Anandamagar. Mm. Anandamagar was already declared by Baba by that time mm. the world headquarters. I mean registered headquarters. And Baba at that time announced that camp head office. Yeah. So Baba told the camp head office would be where I shall be. So, after that, Baba started staying permanently in Kolkata. And also, you know, with much effort, you know, one day Baba had a, a rented house, South End Park, South End Park in Baliganj, you know, the lake, 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 uh, yeah, lake, uh, Yes, uh, that was uh, there. So one <laughs> Baba was staying in South in Park, so Baba went into Kolkata, came into Kolkata. That time I was pure Chief Secretary, not GS. So, but Baba already made uh, 200 uh, Samaj. That time Baba started Samaj movement. And Baba made me Samaj Secretary. Uh, before we go on, I want to go back a bit. There was one other issue earlier on in the history of Ananda Mahika. I wanted your response. Um, how did you feel when Baba and how did everyone else feel when Baba got married? Was that, um, was there confusion, uh, reaction, <laughs> happiness? Very. Very important thing you have asked. <laughs> Many people want to know. Yeah, Baba was not married for a long time. Yeah. There were reasons. I mean, I mean, so called objective reason. Two, three reasons. One reason is this that in, in the family, Baba, Baba, with Baba, there are four brothers. So, the next to Baba, second brother, his name was Kanai, his good name was Dhanshu Ranjan. All of Baba was Prabhat Ranjan, everybody, with everybody would be Ranjan. Yeah. So, Dhanshu Ranjan in this way, but their nickname was something else. So, Baba's second brother, was not in an earning position, did not get job. At that time, Jamalpur Railway Workshop were believing or trusting more the Bengal people because they are sincere. So this factory where Baba was working as accountant. So, before Kanai got job there, Baba's, according to mother's instruction, Baba's income would go to sister. You know, Baba had an elder sister and somehow his husband died and he had one son and three daughters. So, Baba's mother arranged 
the uh, Baba's income will go to uh, uh, Baba's uh, one portion of income will be uh, for the family, Jamalpur, and the next rest would go to mother, uh, elder sister. So that time, Baba was unmarried. Even Baba, you know, Baba made first years agree, you know, but yeah. <laughs> so he was a good and money. So he got finally he got married. He first he Baba raised in a very peculiar situation. Baba compelled him to marry. He was not even knowing a few minutes before. He had, he had to marry the girl. Baba told that, yes, Pranay, his name is Pranay. Mm-hmm. You know, Pranay. Pranay, you have to marry. And the marriage will happen within one hour. And the girl is ready. She comes from a very, very good family. He came in Jamalpur. His guardian was there with him. They were not knowing Ananda Marga, but through some Ananda Marga sources. They came in Jagriti and met me and pleaded. That Baba, my daughter is there, marriageable age. And I did not find, uh, we did not find any match. Baba, I can't even think. Okay, okay, don't, don't bother, you were, you were ready. Baba was not talking with the daughter, but you were ready for this, yes. We do not know what marriage will take place. You stay here. <laughs> They were taken aback, you know. Shock. Shock. But double shock or triple shock was it tonight. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what Baba was saying, he is, he is not married. And Baba was telling him to marry. So, anyhow, he had to escape. The marriage happened. In the meantime, Baba's mother was a very, very strong and intelligent lady and very, very authoritative, authoritative, you know, in the family. Even Baba would go for some DMC somewhere. <laughs> so Baba, in the family, you know, Baba did never allow any to know anything about Ananda Marga. Only mother he was telling, something was to be told. Then mother, I am going to Allahabad support. So, this day or that day, mother will say, okay, no, that way he was taking permission. He was taking permission officially from mother. In the meantime, one day Baba told, uh, Baba's mother told, he, he, you know Baba's nickname from the childhood was Bubu. Affectionate. Yeah. Affectionately Baba was called Bubu. Bubu, now you are about marriageable, marriageable age, now you must marry. So, uh, Baba named the elder sister. She has got one lady at the same place where she was 
staying I mean Hooghly district, Chandan, you know, Hooghly district, Chandan Nagar or something like that. Uh, close by Calcutta. So, uh, I fixed finally, never took the name of uh, in the sister, you have to marry. Huh. Okay? And also was in the beginning was but he was knowing that he was he had to marry. So yes, mother, just like a very obedient son. Yeah, what a, yes, Baba. Yes, mother. So it will happen very soon. So now Kanai, already Kanai Kaku already got that job in the family. The financial pressure was redistributed anyhow. Now Kanai is doing job, so he is also supporting the family financially. And Kanai Kaku was doing all, no Baba could not do any family work because he is in death. Time was being spent in Anandamar. Then he came to. So, Baba told yes. Within, I think, less than one month. And Baba uh, actually. Baba was to go to marry a girl. The custom was there at that time, in the, in, even now, to daughter's house. But for Baba, you know, her mother was knowing well that, you know, Baba cannot be sent to go there. He is busy with his something, what he, what he does with Sandasis, you know. Only she would know this. Sandasis is an Griyacharya. Among Grihacharya, only Pranay was going into the quarter. So, so he, he eventually married, married her. Uh, and uh, and that girl came and stayed somewhere in Jamalpur. Yeah. Could, Ma- I have, could I have a honeymoon or anything after the marriage? Yeah, ma- after marriage. Was there any kind of honeymoon? Did I go around for it? No honeymoon, nothing. <laughs> because Baba cannot uh, leave another, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Jamalpur. Too much responsibility. Yeah, responsibility. What, what was the reaction from the Margis and what? Yeah, Margis were first happy. Mm-hmm. What name would be to her, even talking, referring? They never saw her, except uh, Pranayada and Abhedananji. Nobody had entered entry. The mother was knowing only this person, two persons. So, so Margis was thinking how to address her. Baba's wife. <laughs> So they thought that by the simple mind of Margit and Thai, to think that you would call her mother, Ma. Means, you know, in India, daughter-in-law could be addressed affectionately in family as Bhoma. Daughter-in-law means Bhuma. Okay? So... And the, the, the Acharyas, how were they thinking? So Acharyas, particularly Pranayana, was very happy. He was wanting this. 
and then in the meantime one incident happened baba's fourth brother just two three years before he died baba had an ancestral property apart from jamalpur in the baba's back place uh, baba's paternal uh, house was in bamunpara a village close to bardavan city so that is why baba used to go with them time baba's mother will take them to that bamunpara and for that we to stay at bardavan said so bardavan by baba's income and same time marg is a good organization lots of marg is also help so one house was purchased two room house i think that one it was made so two floors so so marg is a in the beginning of and facing hard as uh mother and somehow with somebody suggestion or something like that and knowingly they started cover the calling him marga mata marga mata and physically this was not told to her for everything you know baba must have to take by it giri acharyas and sanyasi master at this abhinandan ji to abhinandan ji permission should be taken and baba's wife you know to address marga mata you know mata <laughs> mata mata marga simply mata is given mata of anand marga Which Baba never liked. Which Baba never involved the family into the, including the Baba's wife. In the meantime, they had their first son. And when there was some change in Baba's room, brought uh, change was done by her mother. In instead of one cot, two cots. At that time, some. Room was changed. There was a bigger room. So Baba was shifted in two parts with his wife there, and first son was born, Gautam. <coughs> so that thing happened. So. Later on, Baba came to know Marga Mata. Even you know Marga is without know, Baba. They dared to arrange for this for a seating before Baba had come, without asking Baba. Physically asking. Baba was doing an ongoing entity. One day, Baba. Came to know about that. We were called all the nazis, Greeks, including Abedananda. Who is Abedananda? Why did you not tell me that? Uh, Maggi started asking Maggi Mata, who gave this permission? Then Baba told him and others. Ananda Sutra was one of the beginning book. So did I not write in uh, Ananda Sutra? The Sutra, first Sutra, Shiva Shakti Atma Kandrama, Shiva Shakti. Shiva is what first Baba explains. Shiva what is first the Shakti. The second verse. शक्ति शक्ति 
Sayyid Umar juga Nabi Ibn Umar pun batak You understand? Only one entity My teachings Every time, everywhere is this Do you not know? One entity My philosophy, my everything he says, explains that worship one entity, meditate on one entity. Then I heard that Baba uttered the hearts of Kabira that the meaning of the hearts was this that Same thing, Ram, Nam. No, Kabir was brought in the time of Rama. But their, their belief about Rama, Rama was not that mythological Ajodha Rama. It was ideative Rama for Kabir. That uh, Uh, Ram, Nam, name of Ram, should be considered as figure one. One, you know, one in Bangla or English. One. That is one, one sum, one, uh, I mean, first sum of uh, that thing. One to ten. So that is one. And <coughs> after that, whatever number you put, zero, then it will, its value will increase hundred times. But without the one, there is nothing. <laughs> so, but without that one, You can write thousand zeros, no value. Value comes when one is there in the beginning. And he is the one. So Baba told that to be one and supreme. You understand? Never mistake this. So no. Margamada, that time, you know, everything stopped. But in time, she became quite a spiritual person, or was she? Actually, so, but in the beginning, she was. You know, who, who can initiate her? Yeah. Except Baba himself. Because Baba cannot allow, allow any other, uh, no, no question of. In visiting her by any sannyasi, it's a most pranayda. No, pranayda also will not agree. Baba himself is here. And Baba was supreme entity, you know, Tanakamana himself. So in the beginning she was, she had some, she felt some sensation. Well, She hear hard, you know, they guess, you know, Mr. Mantra. And, you know, hearing Mr. Mantra, Baba Lakhron explained that when you hear, before that Baba uh, Acharya has explained all Suddhis. So after Suddhis, then Baba Acharya has to tell that I, now I shall utter your Mr. Mantra. You should not open your eyes. You meditate, so the last Sukhi, and I shall utter, you will hear, utter for the last time. Only one time I shall utter your Rishta Mantra, this will hear. So this thing happened to me, you know. Later on Baba told that, explained that, that first time it happens, Mantra Ghata. It creates Mantra Ghata, you know. Strikes the Kundalini. 
anyhow so that 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 spiritual thing happened so in the beginning she was uh, very how to say devoted and went wrong and it went on up to kolkata baba by that time was in patna when rachi there was problem to baba was brought to pasu back to anandagar to rachi and rachi to patna that was before just baba's arrest in 19 natural 1980 or it you that freaking beginning of 81 something like that so till then till then she was you know first pa bishukanand in the meantime you know conspiracy started in an market so one day uh, we all uh, there was a big dharmashala dharmashala you know marwari dharmashala means very big hall and all facilities at one place so margis and workers were staying there Baba was staying in Southern Park with wife and her wife and uh, son in an adjacent room, and there was a connecting door. And Vishwakanda, Vishwakanda's room just attached from this side. This was the position there, Southern Park. in the meantime you know cbi started conspiring and they uh, that in the beginning of cbi had no force of their own police force for that is so they had to depend upon uh, local police force and local police in bihar almost all around the world or so or simply the that to another market so every moment the information was physically coming to us as means that time on our maid on law secretary priya acharya who was keen to know that this cbi got information or inkling that uh, PA, so called PA, in Jukanan, was very close to the then Grihi Acharya. Two, three, uh, two persons were in a very big job in Delhi. One was Raghunath Prasad. He was collector customs. Means collector customs means collector means just secretary. Little uh, uh, just below the post of finance. And our finance secretary is Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi was doing this conspiracy. So, Logubir Prasad was staunch man. Both hail from UP, Uttar Pradesh. He was different. Baba made his name was Virendra. Vilain, and he was deputy director of revenue intelligence. 
रेवेन्यू इंटेलिजेंस सी बी आई पास मेड हिम देर फर्स्ट कनेक्शन टू एंटर इन टू द फैमिली ऑफ मंथ बाबा एंड थ्रू बीरेंद्र बीरेंद्र वॉज वेरी क्लोज टू वन दैट टाइम अवर दूध एंड ऑल्सो जी टी एस that time our own training center was there in manaras prakashan very long here <laughs> apparently out outwardly he would be looking like a very pious so pious sad yes actually he was a poet so this pindu krishna Adra, Hindu Kishore Adra. He he was uh, very close to Prakashan was very close to Hindu Kishore. So when CBI first approached Deputy Director of Intelligence that somehow Indira Gandhi, Prime Minister, wants that Baba. P.A. and two P.A. Our wife should be poisoned. Poison. Poison should be poisoned. That is antagonized against Baba. Mm-hmm. So they caught Prakashanand. He was close to Jyendra uh, Kishore. He told entire thing that Indira Gandhi is wants this. You are very close to Vishwanand also. They told. He told. <coughs> so you frankly, Baba was staying still at Rachi. So Baba was. CBI uh, production and uh, already poison, and he told um, Shukananda that this is India Gandhi. Everything he told, frankly, he was very close to Shukananda. And Shukananda poison, Uma Dattas Mai. Huh? Ah, but why? So. The last time, I think, is a historical event. We all were staying, and somebody from quarter, I mean BSS, and Baba would need anybody. Baba would call two BSS. I was called. I went out in Parmarvat room. I heard that Baba was asking some guesses. My name, Sarvath Mananda, has come. Yes, send him inside. I went inside. I was in box one hundred twenty. I prostrated. Then Baba told, "Close that link door." You know that mother, mother will come with food, and mother and son will come every day, and they will prostrate. Mother will do according to lady, lady's prostrate system, and son prostrate full. This would happen every time. So Baba explained first time in form that you see. This thing is happening. Any moment she can leave this house and Ananda Marga. She is under the clutch of CBI, and CBI has arranged one very big rented building in Delhi, 
Eh? And they have arranged the study of the sun, everything. Baba was telling me, he asked me to close the door. So Baba told me, asked me, I want from the Brahmana. His most favorite thing was, you know, coconut. Why? Because coconut is an important ingredient for idli. <laughs> he has so much greed for idli that he steals coconut and orders my persons, you know, they cook, etc., to prepare idli for him. So, Baba already called Keshavananda. Keshavananda, from this moment you are my king. Baba declared his posting, Ramananda's posting. So, what, what was just fast forwarding now to Baba's last days? Yeah, so in this way, the last day came. Well, I cannot remain normal so much, you know, that I quite Only this much I can say that it was an unthinkable. Baba, by this time, developed high sugar. We are not knowing. Naturally, you know, inside the jail, Poisoning, torture, incarceration. And after coming out of jail, he did not bother for anything. He just started moving by car, went up to different places. So, further pressure. So, it was discovered that he had high sugar. And he has developed one side by side, heart disease, which is related to sugar, high sugar, which is called cardiac asthma. Medical term, you understand? Cardiac asthma. Asthma, cardiac asthma. Some liquid will assimilate, uh, uh, assemble here in the heart. Only one medicine was available that time, an injection. A last effort, life-saving drug, it was called. So, Dr. Satish is still a doctor, that time very young, very good man, not initiated man, great devotee of man. He was knowing that life-saving drug. Had to be put within 10 minutes of that attack of cardiac arrest. 10 minutes is the golden moment. After 10 minutes, he left work. He was that time staying with his family with clothes. And he was immediately responding to my call. So, Baba gave the bell. Same time, before and also it, two times we have said, I immediately called that within ten minutes, that golden period, Satish, Dr. Satish arrived, you will come and ready with the injection, immediately push, and Baba will just forget it. But in the meantime, Baba was hospitalized, you know. Even he you get, could get up. The doctors advised that at least he should remain in the hospital for a few days. First he went to Woodland. Two times he, when the attack was there, Satish came in the right time, at the right time. But at the same time, doctors came himself, Dr. 
Kumarji Dr. Dr. Ramesh was very close to Baba. Once came to see Baba here. We sent him inside with the words, Dada, Baba is not weighing. In the meantime, he gave hundred persons Avadur Diksha. There was his indication, you know, that would be the last Kapalik Diksha. <coughs> Even my Tantra would be himself. You know, he wanted to create this chant, gave the hints to us that he will not remain. Anyhow, I told this thing physically. Baba loves you and obey you very much. And just you will see that this thing is happening. Any moment, third attack, doctor is told, cardiac, third attack of cardiac, and you will have it. Who can say that Satish will not come that time, at right time, as it happened to two times? So please tell Baba. Only this much that he should minimize his doctor's advice. Only the doctor's caution, the third time you cannot save him. Even if the life saving drug is pushed, he will die. He will lose it. We are telling him this much harsh words. They told the doctor. So he told that Ramesh, only you can tell Baba to minimize it. We only want the doctor here. Our doctor was very caring for Baba, respecting, high regard for Baba. So I told Raman, uh, Ramesh, he, Dr. Ramesh, that you can convince to me only these things, Dr. Swan, that he should minimize her. The overloading, over, he, Baba would take so much overloading. So, Dr. Ramesh told me, I should say. So, he. Went <laughs> and remained with Baba for almost an hour. And he came out. His face was bright. So we were hopeful maybe that he could tell Baba this and then Baba might have agreed. But he told that Baba. I told Baba. This thing what doctors, heart doctors have told, and as doctor, I also told that Baba, you have to minimize the load. You are taking the and even in this condition. So, <clears throat> I told, do you know that what Baba told, and my mouth was shut? Baba told Ramesh. I cannot remain a single moment without doing work. I die, uh, everything happens. But I cannot leave my work. You understand, Ramesh? He told me that I told everything. But how can I tell to Baba? Baba, Baba told also this thing that as president, if I do not do work out of 24 hours, at least 22 hours work, then I am not, I am not fit for remaining president. I am to resign from that job. Understand, Ramesh? So, Ramesh came out and told us, this was Baba Dita. Who am I to dare to say Baba that Baba will leave <laughs> presidentship? And Baba explains like this. So, this was, you know, 
It's my self-desire, you know, when he will come, when he will go. In one song, in song Baba's Baba sang in that other one, without informing anybody, you came. Huh? And when you left this one, you also did not allow anybody. Unnoticed you came, unnoticed you went. <laughs> he didn't inform coming and he didn't inform leaving. He did not even <laughs> allow. Only if I was mother who gave birth, he was maybe knowing that he was giving to, he was going to give, a, give birth to a child. But not knowing who was that child. <laughs> who would be that child at the later on? And who except Baba would know that the time he has fixed on his departure, physical departure? What So it was a big shock for all of us. It was a big shock. Like big day. shock. And, uh, you know, what I told you that I should be emotional, I should not be explicit. Only this thing I can say, when this thing actually happened, I was messaging Baba. And I watched, even the, you know, Dr. Ramesh arranged doctors to come, or duty, two doctors would come from us. A good number of batch of doctors were already in the Marga that time. Margi doctor, but at the same time they are doctor in the biggest hospital, in government hospital in Raja, and in Sikha. So that everything, oxygen and everything was ready, kept ready. So bad. So bad. What would happen? I was messaging Baba. After some time, he saw that Baba's leg, because leg is the last part, best part of the body. Hearts and everything, laying above that. So, leg, you know, was the last part. And it becoming cold means person has died. I understood that. I did not allow this thing to happen to come in my mind that Baba is not. Anyhow, the doctor came and declared clinical. He told that clinically, I am sorry, you will not like me to hear this. Like the, this my the statement, clinically he is still. Anyhow, I had to come somehow to announce this. Margis and workers were on the <coughs> waiting. They asked, understood something, but what they did not know. Vishedi had to come. Chadunath Dada advised me, he was present at time, advised me to go there and tell him, Dada, you go. You say. Well, you were with Baba the last one. All were already crying. They were new. But officially they were waiting to hear. I went there. It's not I can I broke. I broke. <coughs> totally in front of my Totally. I could check myself and tell that Baba is no more. In the meantime, Margi is uh, starting, starting to treat them. Hmm? So Margi is declared that long after my coming back, water, 
Mary is declared that we decided six days Baba's body would be preserved as it is. Because we know that Baba's devotees are everywhere in the world. Yes, I, huh? yes, I, I came to the... Yeah. 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 This last notion of Baba, we decided this. I said nobody's brain was working at the time. Anyway, I was crying. I called all senior workers, some senior Griyacharyas, all five, you know, all present. I told you nobody's brain was working. I told that I came <coughs> as Baba's physical body was here for six days, five days, 21st to 26th. So these five days, there should be some Margis were doing Kirtana for five days, 24 hours, non-stop. So the same thing should happen. And then later on, you know, Tananata's initiative and all these things that Jadata, Jadata. I did not like this. To so add this chapter, Mahaprayan divorce in the Chaja Chaja. Chaja Chaja is Baba's direct, you know, writing. I did not like this. I told Dada, 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 it is not good to give. No, no, this is to be given, otherwise Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu will automatically come and do Kirtan. Still, this is going on. <coughs> First, you know, this, this place was not free, no everybody else. Some worker brought, you know, ostrich from Africa. You know, so without permission, still three, you know, somehow with his baggage, you know, he might have given some money in Kolkata airport yeah? and brought this to water. And these two ostrich, ostriches are very favorite. Where there is a memorial uh, now, it was encircled by a kind of cover so that people do not disturb them, but they can see also. People, it's strange and Margis and non margis will even come to see the ostrich. Because ostrich is rarely seen here in, in Indian Zoo also in ostrich. So, you know, one thing I forgot to ask you, tell me if this is true, about the rumor with Baba originally not accepting um, go time because he married women that was in the Communist Party or something. Was there any truth in that? Later on, he came to know. Later on, he came to know, know that she was related to Communist Party. Is that why initially Baba did not accept it? That Baba did not express. What he expressed, I told you. Yeah, like but supernaturally, Baba was all the entity Baba was with me. Maybe that was the un unsaid reason. Yeah, yeah. Before you confirm with me about an incident in the late 80s where Baba, where a Samaj worker, a Magi doing Samaj work, refused to take a direction from you, which you said came from Baba, and uh, Baba was furious and he was banned, banned for life. But uh, I want to know, did he, this Margie, apply for a mercy petition to be allowed back in? So, I'm not very much clear about that. Oh, okay, you don't remember. So, so I so should not, I should not specifically comment. say. Anyway, I appreciate your time, Dada. It's very difficult for you. Thank you. I hope you get better soon. Namaskar.